Hi, I'm Laura Hoy, and here's a look at what you can expect from the markets today, Tuesday, October 29th. The dollar sagged on Tuesday as the Federal Reserve's two-day policy meeting got underway. Most are expecting the bank to maintain its easy money asset purchase program and delay any tapering of the stimulus spending until at least March. German officials have warned of diplomatic consequences after the White House admitted to spying on more than 35 world leaders, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel. However, Germany could be the least of the U.S.'s worries, as countries from around the world demand to know whether or not their leaders were included in the 35 tapped. Although Apple's iPhone sales increased during its September quarter, the company's profit slid and disappointed investors. With the holiday season approaching, most will be watching to see if the company's cheaper iPhone 5C will gain traction. South Korea's recent nuclear scandal, in which 23 reactors were operating under false security certificates, has put pressure on the nation to shift away from its reliance on nuclear power. If the country does make the change, it will likely cost tens of billions of dollars per year due to increased imports. The first major deadline for Syria to turn over and destroy its chemical weapons supply is in danger of being missed. The group charged with overseeing the destruction process has warned that it may not be able to visit the last two of Syria's chemical weapons sites due to security reasons by the Friday deadline. Asian markets sagged on Tuesday, with China's Shenzhen composite posting the largest loss, down 1.45%. The Japanese Nikkei lost 0.49%. Indonesia's JSX composite lost 0.66% and Australia's ASX 200 was down by 0.48%. European markets were quiet, the UK's FTSE was up by 0.07%, and the Eurozone stock 600 was unchanged. Italy's MIB got off to a rocky start, down 0.24%. In commodity markets, energy futures were lower, with Brent futures down 0.56%, and WTI futures down 0.35%. Gold gained 0.10%, but silver was down by 0.30%. Industrial metals were mostly higher with aluminum up 0.74% and zinc up 0.66%. The dollar treaded water ahead of the Federal Reserve meeting outcome. The euro to dollar ratio was steady just below $1.38 and the pound lost 0.22% against the dollar. The Japanese yen climbed 0.13% against the American currency, and the Australian dollar lost 0.62% against the greenback. Notable earnings releases on Tuesday include Nokia, Aetna, Johnson Controls, and Valero Energy. On Tuesday's economic calendar, we're expecting to see U.S. consumer confidence, U.S. retail sales, U.S. PPI, British mortgage lending and mortgage approvals, and Germany's consumer climate. And that's it for today's Market Primer. I'm Laura Hoy for Benzingo, wishing all of you good luck on your Tuesday trades.